Hi everybody, I'm actually doing a third video tonight. This one actually won't go up until a little bit later. Um, this one's going to be a little awkward because Influencer wanted to do a like tutorial on how to apply your false eyelashes. One, it's going to be awkward because you're going to see me without my glasses. Two, I'm going to be holding this while doing it. And three, I'm not actually going to put the eyelashes on because I think the glue that they that comes included has latex in it and I'm allergic to latex because the last time I wore them it really super irritated my eyes so I'm gonna go through the whole process of how I put them on the steps that I do and all that but I'm going to um not actually put them on I will put a picture on the blog of um and I'll have a link to that down below and uh, I'll have a picture of what I looked like the other day when I finished the eyelashes so hopefully this comes out all right so I'm gonna watch it back before I upload it all right so here we go so I've got all my eye makeup done for filming before as you can see and that includes a rather sketchy looking eyeliner and mascara I don't curl my eyelashes I don't even own an eyelash curler so that might be weird but uh i have my mirror do you want to see my mirror see mirror are you in the mirror yes you're in the mirror so there's my mirror i'm actually gonna flip it to the super close-up version because i'm blind without my glasses and i need to be able to see so um what i'm gonna do is go get the right eyelashes first and blindly at that because i'm not putting my glasses back on I'm going to get the pair that I wore the other day. I'm not going to ruin another pair because I do plan on getting more glue and using different glue with them next time. So I do plan on reusing them. So um, these are different than the ones that I'm using, but these are the eyelashes. The second set that came in the box. And see, it has a little tool and there's some glue in there. So we're just going to grab one eyelash. Is this creepy? I hope not. Okay, so first thing that we're gonna do is not blind you. You were like beaming off of my head or something. Okay, so when you take it out of the box, it looks like this. And as you can see, I took the top pair off the other day. Now sometimes when you pull them off and you want to be very careful and you want to use your little tongs, um, see your little tongs. You want to use that to pull it off. But sometimes when that hat, when you pull them off, they become unshaped. I don't know if any of you've noticed that. So what I like to do, and I found this trick out, is you take a brush. I'm using the Real Techniques buffing brush is what I'm using because it's the thicker barrel one. And what you do is put it where you can see it. Well, I'll show you here in a second. You can look at me while I do it in the background. Um, I wrap the eyelashes around the brush to let them get their curl back. Before I add any glue or anything, this is just with the stickiness of the package on there. And that kind of lets it regain its shape from when I pulled it off. All right. So you don't have to use these. You can use tweezers. Some people find that tweezers work better. Um, Next time I do it, I probably will. Again, you are shining off of my face. I'm so sorry. Didn't know my face was that shiny. Okay, so you're gonna take them and you're gonna clasp them like that. And at this point, you would put the glue on the little band right there on that inner band. And then you're gonna let it get tacky and you're gonna wave it and blow on it. And then you're gonna come up real close and you're going to put that right as close to your eyelash as you can, but without putting it on your eyelash. You go middle in first, and then the outer edge, you poke that in, and then the inner edge, you poke that in. And then you kind of blink for a second, <laughs> and then you can kind of use your finger to sweep them up to meld your regular eyelashes with the false eyelashes. Now, a lot of people will then put on another coat of mascara, but I'm afraid that you won't get as many uses out of them 
if you do it that way. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm jangling. I'm trying to find, aha, I found it. And I can put my glasses back on now. No, I can't. I just dropped them. <laughs> so uh, you can, I got this in a swap. And it is clear mascara. One end is for eyebrows. And the other end is for eyelashes. That end that's clear. I take that in and then I use, I use that clear mascara to mesh the two of them together. So hopefully that was helpful and that gave you a few little tips. You might have already known some of them, but if not, again, hopefully it helped. And I'll see you next time. Bye!